Aircat, 1777. Sorry, it's bright outside, so I have my eye closed. Uh, this is a three-quarter gun. I have a three-eighths nipple in it. I feed it off of half-inch airlines, minimum half-inch airlines. I figured I'd do two, two, I can't even speak, two tool reviews today. Uh, people might wonder why I'm not working. I am working. I'm just taking a break. Sometimes you have to do that. But this is the Aircat 1777. Okay. Yes, it has war wounds on it. Because I put it to work. There are the specs on it. 1,600 foot-pounds loosening torque, 1,400 foot-pound maximum torque. It says it is 7.5 pounds. It has a two-year warranty on it. Feels more than 7.5 pounds, but that's okay. I like a heavy impact. I like heavy three-quarters. I like aluminum housing three-quarters. Uh, I'm not a composite guy. They get thrown around in the rocks and the dirt. I think the aluminum housings hold up a lot better. This is the second Aircat that I have owned. I like the Aircat products. They seem to last. Uh, I oil them, of course. You know, I don't go out of my way to oil them, but I oil them on jobs pretty much daily when I'm using them. When I pull them out of the truck, they get a, a shot of oil in them and they get hooked to the airline. They don't get oiled until the next time I use them again. Which I know should be, it's pretty much backwards because you should probably oil them after you use them. So they don't sit with moisture or condensation inside them. But it is what it is. I've used this Aircat on an undercarriage. Uh, I've done a couple cutting edges with it. I've probably removed a dozen tires or more. Uh, I've done it, used it on frame repair last week. Yes, frame repair, three days. Uh, it works very nice. Uh, it, it is heavy. Like I said, I like heavy impacts. It is heavy. It has a good feel to it. It doesn't beat the tar out of your hands. It does have vibration. I say it doesn't beat the tar out of your hands, but I'm comparing that to... The big blocky looking ones, I'm not going to throw some names out there, but there's a, there's a really good impact out there that lasts a long time. Uh, doesn't have as much torque, but they last forever, but they vibrate the hell out of your hands. But it does vibrate. Uh, if you notice on the air nipple, that is a air nipple that was put in when I purchased the gun. Uh... You can see that it does take some hammering. Longevity of the impact. I can't tell you anything on that because I haven't had this one that long. I can just tell you initial feel, uh, initial torque. It is a very nice impact. Uh, but like I said, it's heavy. I believe it's more than what, it, what it's rated at. But it works well works very well so there isn't much on the 1777 for on the internet for videos or comparisons i would just say that i do like it better than my red ones so take it for what it is and it's a quarter per quarter of the price of my red ones so let's just see how it holds up maybe uh three months or so you guys give me a reminder, because I will forget. Give me a reminder, and I will do a review on it, an update on it. Of course, in three months, it's not going to look like that anymore. But we'll see what happens. All right, everybody.